second. Hi guys, welcome back to part 62 of the Arduino tutorials. In my previous video, we have learned the basics of iBlink sensor and also we did some practical by interfacing with Arduino and controlling the LED based on iBlink. If you have missed that video, check out from the link in the description box. So in this video, we'll use the same iBlink sensor and make driver drowsiness detection project in which when sensor detects driver is sleepy the motor gradually reduces the speed and stop buzzer start alerting and hazard lights start blinking so make sure you watch the complete video for better understanding for this project you need Arduino board eye blink sensor, two DC motors, I am using this BO motors which works on 9 volts, two wheels, L293D motor driver which has enable pins for speed control, power supply for the motor, in my case I am using two 18650 cells buzzer module, two LED bulbs, breadboard and jumper wires for easy connections and at last a chassis to mount all these components. I purchased all these project components from flyrobo.in. They have very huge collection of components and the prices are also reasonable compared to other platforms. Along with Arduino components, there are also other categories. So the single platform will help you to get all the required materials for your projects. Make sure you explore their products. I leave the link in the description box. Moving on to the connections, first I'll take the 5 volts and ground of the Arduino board onto the breadboard as a common supply since we need for all the components. So this will be the positive line and this is the ground. In the eyeblink sensor, the 5 volts and ground goes to common 5 volt supply on the breadboard and the signal output pin goes to Arduino digital pin 2. For the motor driver, the VCC and ground goes to common 5 volts and ground on the breadboard. The motor control pins input 1 and input 2 goes to Arduino digital pins 4 and 5 and the control pins input 3 and input 4 goes to Arduino digital pins 7 and 8 and for the speed control the enable 1 pin goes to PWM pin 3 and enable 2 pin goes to PWM pin 6. For the motors, we have the terminals on the other side. So I'll directly connect the positive and negative terminals of both the motors. And finally, the supply for the motors can be provided with this V in pin. To make it easier, for now I'll be adding this opposite round pin connector. Next, for the buzzer module, the VCC and ground 
goes to common 5 volt supply on the breadboard and the signal pin goes to Arduino digital pin 9. Finally, for both the LEDs, the negative terminals goes to ground and the positive terminals goes to Arduino digital pin 10 and 11. That's all the circuit. I'll also leave the circuit link in the description box. Finally, to make it look better, I'll be assembling all these components on this chassis and the wheels for the motor. After assembling, this is how the model looks. So this is the sensor I've kept with the long wires. Arduino at the front and breadboard is here. I placed the buzzer at the front. Motor driver and motors and wheels are placed at the bottom. And I've added the LEDs on both the corners. Now I'll connect Arduino to the computer with this USB. And start with the programming. Moving on to the code. Here, for all the components used in this project, we have a separate tutorial videos in our playlist. So if you already watch those videos, it will be easy to understand this code. I have already written the code. I'll just go through the flow how it works. So at the top, I have declared the pins for all the components. Sensor, motor driver pins, buzzer and LEDs. In the setup, I am setting the pin modes for all the pins. In this case, only the sensor will be input and rest all pins will be output. Once we power the Arduino board, the motors should start running by default with maximum speed. So I have added this logic and also 255 duty cycle for both enable pins. In the loop, I'm reading the sensor pin and storing the value here. So once we get the output from the sensor to this variable, we have to confirm whether it's actual sleep scenario or not. For that, I'm using a custom function with counter implementation. Once sensor gives the output, I'll be waiting till this 1200 count for confirmation. Once it reaches this value, the function returns true and we can proceed further. So here I'll be reducing the speed of the motor slowly using the analog write functions. So the duty cycle will slowly come down to zero from 255 for both the enable pins. So after slowing down the motor, I'll be stopping the motors completely and activating the buzzer and LEDs. So here is the logic for LED and buzzer control. So this is how the code works. I'll upload this code and show you the practical demo. After uploading the code, I'll remove this from the computer and connect the USB to the power bank directly as a power supply to the Arduino board and other components. For the motor supply, I'll connect the lithium batteries to the motor driver. I 
As soon as you connect the power supply, the motor starts running. For normal eye blink, there is no impact. But if you close the eyes for long time, the sleep condition is detected. The motors start reducing the speed slowly. Also, the buzzer makes sound and LEDs start blinking. Now to start the motors again, you have to press the reset button on the Arduino board. So this is all about the sleep detection and accident prevention project. I hope it was interesting. For code and circuit diagram, visit the link provided in the description box. Stay tuned and subscribe for more interesting tutorials and projects. Thank you for watching.